All right, so today we're going to be talking about how to publish your app in Selling Partner App Store. Um, my name is Olivia Song. Like I mentioned, I'm a solutions architect evangelist on Amazon Selling Partner API team. If you checked out our YouTube channel, you might have seen me here and there doing some webinar. Super excited that you guys are joining us today. So, awesome. Before we get started, though, I would like to ask a poll question because I would love to find out where everyone's joining from. Um, if you want to comment, that's fine, too. But yeah, let me know which region you're joining from. And we'll love to find out. It's like a short icebreaker question. But oh, OK, got quite a few people joining from Europe, actually. Wow, that's exciting. Thanks for joining, guys. I'm based on North America, so. Okay. I think if everyone's done. Yeah, I don't see any more going. Can we see the result? Awesome. A lot of people hopefully got off work, but um, thanks for joining. Really appreciate it. Joining all the way from Europe. Um, and yeah, that's super exciting. I have another question too. Um, I want to ask because I want to find out more about what you guys on the line. So what is your progress currently with selling partner API app? Tell me where you guys are at, whether in terms of if you just started, you know, by creating a developer profile, you already created an app, or you're already working through some integration with the APIs, or if it's under review, that's awesome. Um, if you already have a published app, I'd be really impressed. Wow, okay. Oh, this is an interesting result. Oh, okay. I think that's about it. Yeah, I don't see any more answers coming in. And wow, a lot of people already have okay that's okay you guys might already know the material that i'm going to be covering but no but thanks for joining though this is awesome we already have a lot of experienced people awesome cool well let's get started um this is our agenda today i'm going to be talking about selling partner app store overview maybe you guys are already familiar with it because you guys have published apps um talk about listing process going through filling out the form uh what it means to publish an app and lastly, tips and tricks, best practices for those who are preparing to publish their app. So before getting into listing, we'll do a quick overview of the App Store. Um, I'm sure many of you heard of it, seen it, um, maybe browsed on it before. So App Store is a one-stop shop where the smallest, medium-sized uh, business that sell on Amazon can discover applications to help them like automate, manage, and grow their business. It's accessible from Seller Central, as you can see on the screenshot, and uh, it's created by Amazon or other third-party uh, developers like yourselves that cover a range of functionality across uh, you know, the selling life cycle. This is where sellers can also leave their ratings of your application in the App Store. So if you're planning to list your app soon, make sure to refer to our communication guideline in our documentation uh, when thinking about communicating to customers that your application is an App Store. Listing prereqs. So before starting the listing process, you have registered um, as a public developer for public SPF application, and you have configured an OAuth authorization workflow through Selling Partner App Store on your own website, and all the features on your app are compliant with Amazon's acceptable use policy, AUP, and data protection policy, DPP. I'm sure you guys are aware of this. Um, before I get started on the listening process. I would like to ask another poll question. How familiar are you guys with selling partner after listening process? I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. This is a very interesting result. Oh, oh. Wow, okay. Look at that, not familiar, I don't think it's familiar. Okay, I'm very surprised, um, but glad that you guys are here to learn about the process. 
Thanks, Krista. Okay. Getting started. Let's see the process. Now let's move on to the actual process where I'll be going through filling out the form and explaining um, the fields, you know, and by this point, when you're ready to list your process, uh, list your app, you should have your SPAPI integration done complete, like all the tests, whether it be user beta test, integration test, and you're ready to publish the app. Let me start this really quickly. Hold on. Sorry, technical difficulties. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, apparently I started my video. So this is where you would go in Selling Partner, um, Seller Central. This is where you would see all your apps and you got a listing. So this is a form that you'd be filling out. Um, obviously language is super important because this will determine which language your listing information will be provided in. I chose English because I'm more, that's what will be provided in. Uh, listing name, very important, that goes without saying, just for demo sake, um, name the Pakatsu, that's, that's my dog's name, so please have it relevant to whatever your app is doing. Listing category, this is where your app will live under depending on which category you choose. Highly advise choosing only one or two max. Um, if you reach like everything to reach a wider audience, it will only provide uh, misleading information on what your app does. So really pick one that represents your core functionality. Um, and I'm gonna deselect analytics and reporting because I wanna have inventory as my main. And this is our documentation where you can go to find out different definition of listing categories. So make sure to check it out before you select it if you're not sure. Cool. Go back to my form, um, short description. So imagine you got only a few sentences to pitch your app to like, if you're at like a Shark Tank show or something, what would you say about your app? Um, definitely to save space, don't repeat, you know, your app name and the description. Um, list only maybe top features and functions of your app and be specific. And then you can really expand in the app, app description, the long one. Um, I would really recommend reading it over, review it, no grammar mistakes. You want to sound professional for this one. App feature self-explanatory in the bullet point of form. Um, definitely think about what the potential that the customers can do with the app. List them in, you know, in the bullet so it's easier to read. And this is for demo purposes, so please list things that are relevant to your app. So who should use this? So describe the target audience for your app to help customers find the app that they need. So indicate any restrictions, many requirements that you have when using your app, such as you know operating only in certain marketplaces, minimum requirements for sales, number of ASINs, any software or system requirements. So yeah, super important. And moving on to the product URL. I really hope you have a detailed product URL on your website because this is where your customer will go um, to find more information. Same goes for the support URL. Um, if you have them, definitely link them in so that when customers run into issues, they will go to this URL. I would say don't put a random URL for this. Put something that's actually relevant. The same goes for the support email. If you have a tech or customer support email, definitely put them in. Don't use your own personal email or your CEO's. Same, same with the support phone. If you have a support phone number, use it. Don't use your personal phone. Big, big advice. Anyways, customer support languages, uh, make your customer feel more familiar or comfortable by providing which you know language support that your customer support provides these are random i don't think i can support all three languages okay 
So moving on to functionality. So you might be a little confused because the options here look similar to the category from above, and I'll be showing you the difference soon. I think I'm moving on to a different tab, yeah. So category will determine where your app will live within Selling Partner App Store. So depending on which category you select, your app will show up underneath that category. Um, so mine will show up under inventory and order management because that's where I show, uh, that's where I selected. So this is where the functionality will show up on what you choose just now. This is just an app detail page randomly for inventory lab when I search inventory. Um, make sure you only check off the minimum to, to guide your customers for better customer experience on what your app provides in term, terms of functionality. One thing to keep in mind is that definitely don't check off everything um, because you should only check off things that your app can actually do. Um, if you're not aware of what these programs that you support are, then probably you don't support them. If you do, definitely, definitely select them. And marketplaces, I think you're aware of these, whichever marketplaces you operate in, definitely select them. Next is the pricing model. So if you choose request quote from developer, um, if your pricing model is determined by case by case, depending on seller's needs, describe your pricing model in the description. And you can also include like a promo code in the description if you want. I think I did provide mine. It's coming. And then if you obviously select free, that means you are offering your app at no charge. And if you choose starting ads, if your pricing model is based on monthly or yearly charges, you can do a free trial in length of days. Um, if it's not based in days, you can specify that in the description. And obviously I put mine as whatever, for demo purposes only. Next is the business logo, picture, adhere to the actual pixel requirements. Otherwise, it won't show up. So I had to like resize mine a couple times for this demo. And I think it'll show up just a little bit. And definitely do not use anything related to Amazon trademark, no Amazon logo, things like that. I think that's given. But. There it is. So when you hit and save and submit, this will actually submit your app for listing. So think twice, take a moment. Okay, I didn't definitely breathe, but there it is. This is a confirmation and you can track the status of your submission in your case log. And I think that was it through the whole form. If you have any questions, feel free to leave in the chat and I'll take them after. I just wanted to reiterate um, this category section once again. This is where the category section is within Selling Partner App Store. And depending on the category that you choose, that's where your app will show up when your customers are browsing, browsing through different categories. And this is where the functionality is. And definitely, yes, they might overlap in terms of some options, but definitely check out the minimum to help the guide customers for their better customer experience. Definitely don't check off everything, only the ones that are relevant to your app. Okay, now let's move on to tips and tricks. This might be obvious, but I really wanted to iterate to help you um, guide through the process of listing your app so it'll be smooth. So definitely it's really important to get another pair of eyes on the submission to check off for any missing information or errors before submitting. Once again, never use your own email. Please use your own company support email. You gotta use company's landing website, not google.com, not just any like Bain URL. Because customers are interested in seeing what your websites are and the product URL too. This is common, but really, we want to make the description sound professional. I can't stress this a lot, I mean, anymore, but in this day and age, we should all be using a secure HTTPS website, not HTTP. For phone numbers, 
follow this format of plus then the country code and, and phone number without spaces. Our approval process, a reviewing process for quality application listing takes time. It will take 12 business days. So keep that in mind when you're planning to launch your application. Uh, exam for example, if you have a launch plan for your app, definitely count this within your launch plan. And definitely count down the days and make sure to follow up and contact your developer support. If you don't hear back from them or if you don't see any changes, with regards to application after 12 business days. Awesome. Checking the status of case log, um, I'll show you a demo, quick demo after this, but this is where you see all your uh, cases and the status. So this is where you go to see all your apps, your app status. Once again, go back to developer apps, develop apps, and then you'll see the apps and the case of each, status of each apps. Technically, since I submitted, I should be seeing um, submitted for one of the app status, but this is just for demo purposes. And now I'll uh, show you how to check the key status, which is by going to the help on the top right. And then go to case log. And then you will be able to view your cases. And then depending on the status, if it has needs your attention, that means it needs your attention. Um, so definitely open it up and reply to those. And I think I show also the um, documentation of what each of these status mean. When it comes to the app status or when it comes to the key status those are two different things so definitely check out this documentation to see what each of these key status means awesome and editing the listing hopefully you won't have to edit the listing um, after you have submitted but in case you need to it's the same process, navigate to Seller Central, develop apps, and under whatever your app that you published, you'll do edit listing and go through whatever necessary changes you need to make. Once again, double check everything before hitting save and submit because it means it will submit your application. And if you have submitted the app or listing and it's currently under submitted status, there's no way to withdraw the app. So you have to contact or developer support. That is all I have for our content. And before we move on to our Q&A, can I ask a quick poll question on how confident you feel about starting the, the listing process? Oh, okay. Okay, this will also help me determine how well I delivered our content. So I think that was, I think that's everyone. Oh, there's more. Okay. Oh, there's more. Okay. Awesome. So much confident you know where to go for guidance if needed. Wow. And oh, wow, you guys are ready to start listing your SP API app. I'm very excited. This is my last one. Thanks everyone for joining. Make sure to check out our SPAPI Developer University YouTube channel and have a wonderful weekend. Hopefully we'll see you in the future, um, any of your future webinars. Bye for now.